welcome to the another exciting episode of Java with the Gyms. My name is Jim Meyer, broker associate at Remax Gold. Now you have a friend in the real estate business. I'm here with Jim T. Chung, the walk star. Now you have a friend in the publicity business. And Jim Felipe Esquire, he is an amazing attorney. I have sent him many referrals. None of them have gone to jail. Uh, and we have Dan Richards. Uh, from Remax Northwest, telling us everything we need to know about Seattle, Washington, and we really appreciate you being on all week, Dan. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to ask a question. Um, Wait, before you ask the question, Jim, yes? oh, Jim yes? Felipe, Jim Felipe, I know you've been struggling, waiting for it. What's the question we yeah. have for Jim Meyer? You know, I missed a few episodes this week, and just this inside of me, it's been building up. I, I got to know. <laughs> Jim, it's in your hand. What is in that coffee cup, sir? This is this is coffee that is so good that the FBI is actually raiding my house right now. They could burst in that door any minute. But it's okay. This show is much more important. Uh, Dan, thank you so much. Um, okay, say I got a house in in Seattle, and I want to sell it. How far in advance do I give you a call? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, really, I would say as far in advance as possible, as far in advance as you're starting to think about the sales process, because early on, usually we're we're thinking about the big picture. What is it that that seller is thinking about doing? Where is it they're thinking about going to? So how do we need to prepare for that? To getting the house ready, we often can do a little bit early and more so as we're getting near. So 60 to 90 days out is a great time frame if it's a scenario where we just need to get it ready and get it on. But I often meet with people a year to two years out when we're really doing that early uh, planning phase. And it, I feel like lately I've been dealing with a lot of people who are coming into retirement and that often they're like two to three years out from actually moving. But the conversation we're having now is what they need to start to really be able to talk it through and think through what do they want to do and then figure out when's the best timing to do it. Absolutely. Uh, very good. Jim T. Chong, you have a follow-up question. You know, I do. One thing I wanted to, to say is that, first off, uh, Jim and Dan is for both of you guys in general and this will be fun which is the best place to live which location is the best place to live seattle or california from your perspective <laughs> well, weather and everything <laughs> dan you want to take that first sure i'll take that first uh i'm going to make the argument for California, and I'll let Jim make the argument for Seattle. How about that? We'll flip okay. this backwards. Go for My it. argument for California is that your daylight stays more even all year round, which seems like that could be kind of a cool thing. Uh, you've got more sports teams down there than we have, so you can have anybody you want to be a fan of, and I feel like in California, you, you've got that. And you've got the special bonus of having uh, an income tax, and we don't have that. <laughs> so if I wanted to be able to pay more tax every year, I would want to be in California where I could really feel good about myself as as a citizen of, of you know, the state as well as the country. But Dan, do you have special interest groups actually owning and buying your politicians? <laughs> no, there nothing, we go. Nothing no. like that could ever happen up here. <laughs> they just take over large sections of the city. <laughs> We're going to start an eBay for politicians where you can actually buy them and start the bid at like a million dollars a person. Uh, so, uh, yeah, my, my argument for Seattle would be uh, if you were sick and tired of the corruption, the, the uh, high inflation, the, the price of gas, uh, we had gas at $6 a gallon. Uh, Dan, what, what's your gas? I think we're we're down in the fives now. What's your gas going? Yeah, at? I I think we're down in the low fours at the moment. We're not really a mecca either. For some reason, the oil companies don't seem to like Washington really much more than they like California. So we've got some unity on that front. <laughs> but you know what you might do is get the politicians to add 
some insane taxes to every gallon of gas because I think that's the big thing is that uh, and then get a population that votes on every tax increase and and likes to be uh, for the lack of the better word stabbed in the back. Um, okay, <laughs> Dan, will you come back tomorrow uh, for another exciting episode? I would not miss it. Awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much.